Swiss prosecutors watching a post-mortem at the University of Zurich. Not for the faint-hearted, certainly, but the autopsy tool for investigating unexplained deaths. And forensic pathologists spend years honing the skills to ask how, why, even when or where the person in front of them ended their days. Now a team at the university has pioneered a virtual Vert autopsy. autopsy. It's a digital post-mortem, new tools for a new era, but there are no plans to completely do away with the scalpel yet. It's not replacing this uh, instrument, it's really the added value or the, the quality improvement in forensic. We cannot replace in every case the autopsy, that's absolutely clear. But to be honest, we have to say that the autopsy is not anymore the gold standard in the field. Some image techniques are better to see some findings in the body than the classical autopsy. Vertopsy uses an array of technologies, magnetic resonance imaging of soft tissues, CT or computer tomography slices the body into sections, 3D scanning which renders surface detail in high what resolution. What you get is a 3D digital model of the body in question, inside and out. As a forensic pathologist, you all, uh, not only want to see the things that you obviously can see with your eyes, but with these tools we can document things that we cannot see that well. And that means we can now see air or gas, we can see gas distributions in the body, we can see foreign bodies like scattered metal fragments, glass fragments, and we can also document pathologies that otherwise we would just cut through. The victim's body is a crime scene. Vertopsy allows you to move through that scene, treading lightly, preserving evidence. You can also pursue investigations from all angles, multiple stabbing victim. The question was in that case, we knew it would, would be a blade, a knife, and that didn't know how long the blade would be. This is hard to calculate with a conventional autopsy. Yeah, when you have a full 3D model, you can scroll through. So we were able to uh, determine the, the, the length of the knife. It's important because once, once you found the, the uh, crime tool, you can take DNA from, from the crime tool and um, convict the suspect because that's what you want to do. You want to find who did that to that body. The autopsy is where medicine and the law meet, but it's also emotionally charged. Families can be conflicted by the need for answers and the desire to preserve the integrity of the body that's left to them. Vertopsy allows us to tread lightly, where evidence is fragilities more delicate still.